Hello there YouTube, SilentFan85 here. I'm doing a vlog without my teeth. Um, I just did a Let's Play without my teeth, and I kind of wanted to do another vlog. I haven't done one in a while, um, and to be honest, these videos help me um, become a little bit more open about not talking with my teeth. Now, with that said, I tend not to go out in public, but then why would I be doing a video of it? It's kind of different ish because I'm in the safety of my own home and I'm recording this um, which the whole internet is going to see but I'm not in direct contact with people it's kind of weird in a way um, but you know it's something I've been having to deal with whenever I first lost my teeth I have created a few blogs talking about this ordeal that I went through in my life uh, I was diagnosed with periodontal disease a very bad case of periodontal disease and um Ever since then, you know, it got, it was tough for so long to have to realize that I'm going to have to get false teeth, mainly on the top and eventually on the bottom. Um, and it can be really tough, especially at a young age. Um, I even made a few vlogs trying to help people reach out in case they needed to search YouTube or even Google for younger people that have lost their teeth due to either bad genes or disease or you know, what, whatever may happen, uh, radiation, I know some uh, cancer patients, their teeth have fallen out due to uh, radiation, but um, it really, it, it takes time, and it takes effort and understanding on people's part, especially family and friends, because losing teeth is like losing an arm, um, it's an essential part of your body, and unfortunately you have to get a prosthetic to better your way of living and health. Um, you can't exactly go through life without some kind of instrument to help you chew or uh, whatnot. Now, speaking is a different um, thing altogether because when you're speaking, you do sound kind of odd like I do now. You, your S's are kind of uh, weird sounding and you can't really pronounce a the or F. You know, it's, it's weird. And whenever I would listen to my grandfather or my grandmother on either side of my family talk... Um, some of them had dentures, or some of them had to talk without their teeth in, or my own, my mother actually, uh, had, had to have her teeth pulled, and again, it can be genetic, you know, teeth loss is, uh, not a fun thing, it's really not, um, but it's, it is an, uh, and a part of life that you have to accept, it either runs in your family, or circumstances of your life, uh, have contributed to what has happened to you. And that's, that's really what I've kind of had to deal with. Uh, unfortunately, mine was due to both the stupidity of my childhood and um, or ignorance of my childhood, really. Not stupidity. I wasn't a stupid kid. Um, and genes, for the most part. Because, again, I was diagnosed with periodontal disease because I did not brush my teeth a whole lot uh, as a kid and as a teenager. I thought, you know, I'm invincible. What, what's the world going to do to me? You know, if I get into a fight, I'll maybe lose a couple of teeth. But never did I imagine that I would lose most of my teeth it's how it happened and um you know so i figured i would do this and um maybe even touch on the whole uh, asmr thing um this is kind of a get to know me video i think here it's kind of cool um but asmr if you are a recent subscriber of mine uh it is the auto sensory meridian response uh it is essentially just a part of a community of people that have this weird tingle in their brain. The only way I can describe it, and one one way I heard one person describe it, is when you run nails down a chalkboard, how it can affect some people but not others. Uh, like personally, if somebody runs, runs nails down a chalkboard, it doesn't really affect me. It doesn't. Uh, it's it's a horrible sound, but I don't like cringe or anything. It's just like you know, would you stop that? It's kind of annoying. Um, it's kind of the opposite of that. It's like your brain is kind of tickling itself. It's it's relaxing, it really is. Um, and when I was a kid, I had it. And I just always kind of thought, well, you know, it's just a weird, weird feeling. But it always felt good. Um, it's been described as an orgasm. I've never really felt it to be kind of an orgasmic feeling, to be honest. It's always been more of... One one way I can describe it, and I'll, I'll, I will warn you, this does seem kind of out there. Uh, maybe a little <laughs> disgusting, but... Um, Say you've been on a long road trip, and 
you've been holding, you've had to go to the bathroom for a while, you've had to go number one, or pee, and um, you've had to hold it for a while, you finally reach the end of your road trip, you rush in, you go to the bathroom, and you relieve yourself. It's kind of like that. It's like a relief, for the most part, except in your brain. Um, and people people think people think it's weird, you know. Uh, my my fiance is trying to understand it, um, and I'm trying to help her understand it. But it's it's really hard to explain, and I wish I could do a better job. But um, it's really cool. It's it's set off by slight sounds and whisperings and uh, personal attention, like running of fingers through hair and um, you know taps on wood and glass or the a uh, light click of a keyboard, um, and I recently started creating videos to try to uh, help any of my subscribers or people that watch my videos maybe um, kind of attain that sensation, and I'm not very good at it, I'm not the best, I'm still kind of new at it, but um, I'm hoping it kind of takes off, so I will leave it at that. Um, that's, again, my story of uh, my teeth loss and um, being diagnosed with periodontal disease, which I've gone over before in recent vlogs, but... I wanted to kind of do another one for my recent and new subscribers, uh, and um, my kick with ASMR. Um, it's still it's still kind of a pseudoscience to be honest, but um, it's kind of a cool feeling. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and remember, you are an awesome person. See ya.